जाता है कि स्टाइल इज स्टेट ऑफ माइंड और आज इंडिया में स्टाइल इज ऑन एवरी वन माइंड ब्लेंडर्स प्राइड मैजिकल नाइट म्यूजिक सीरीज प्रोसेंस डिजाइनर डायरीज में हम जानेंगे इस स्टाइल रेवोल्यूशन के लीडर्स को अप क्लोज एंड पर्सनल इंडियन फैशन के सार्स एंड जारीनास की सक्सेस स्टोरीज उनकी लाइफ के उतार चढ़ाव और कैसे इन फैपुलर स्टाइल जीनियस ने बनाया इस दुनिया को अ मोस्ट स्टाइलिश प्लेस Blender's Pride Magical Nights Music Series presents Designer Diaries par hai ek aise master craftsman jo hai responsible for pretty much all the high fashion that India is churning out today fashion student ke favorite professor kai sare established designers ke mentor the phoenix who rose from the ashes and came back stronger and even more stylish the one and the only Hemant Trivedi बाकी के सारे डिजाइनर से अलग हेमंत रहते हैं मीडिया से दूर लेकिन वैट सो डीज नॉट बिजी मेकिंग मैजिक मिस्टर त्रिवेदी सेल्ड मेवर डॉस एनी इंटरव्यूज और इसीलिए ये डिजाइनर डायरी वन ऑन वन है ऑल द मोस्ट स्पेशल I had no inclination towards design or fashion or clothing or at anything of of that of that kind. It just so happened that my father was posted as an airline pilot. He was posted to Australia and took his entire family with him. And I went to what was called a special art school. So along with your basic education, I also did Saturdays of just complete art in all aspects of art. And I think my professors there saw me drawing in the margins of my pages, faces, eyes, mouths, lips, and they said, "You have got a creative bent. You should steer yourself into fashion design." And I laughed because at one point in time, I did not even know how to sew a button. But um, I just got into it blind, not knowing what I was getting into. I had a point to prove. I was Indian. I was a male student. and i was an overseas student and i had to make sure that i was going to shine so here i was going head first into an institute a fashion institute in australia not the most recognized country you know to nurture fashion but there was an opportunity because india had none there i was from the 20 students of the of the next batch i was one of them and the only male of course a tough call that later on went to make history while this young intelligent opinionated and creative indian fellow was driving the ladies wild he was also working hard to be the best i made simple clothes but very effective the fact that i was indian and i was able to use color i was able to use certain techniques and i was able to use drape was something that became innate for me and that is what i think was a new refreshing change for them now this is interesting at a time jab india mein designers aur fashion industry ka naam aur nishan tak nahi tha hemant chose to come back to his home turf india in spite of being trained at an international level wondering why let's ask the maverick one thing that was i was sure of is that i was going to return to my country and i just said let me take this on as a challenge so you know lat lat milke you got to pick yourself up again and when i came here there was just a smattering of names that you'd hear about somebody who had a boutique at, the, at you know at at one of the hotels and i said here is one crazy 19 or 20 or whatever year old designer let me try and do this and the first thing i got as an opportunity to work was actually an instructor in a college and in a dressmaking institute अपने स्टूडेंट्स को उन्होंने सिखाई काफी सारी चीजें लेकिन द बेस्ट लेसन ही टॉट देम यू लुक गुड यू फील गुड गुड थैंक यू सर पीस बी विद यू While Hemant was busy importing this funda to his butchers, India had begun to take notice of this creative genius. Television stations at that time there was just Doordarshan, and they would keep interviewing me or calling me on different counts. It led from one to another to another, and of course I met with the great, great Jini Nauroji. She taught me so much about commercial fashion, about everything. 
and then I took it and interpreted it my way enough that the first people who approached me was Raymond's and I will never forget that because they believed in what I could do and my first big show was for Raymond's and that's what started the ball rolling. It was an all men's collection but of course I brought in a bit of glamour with the women every now and again. At a time where men were never presented, there were only one or two who were presented in a show of let's say about 10 or 15 girls. Show to tha an astounding success. Or jab ke most critics ne kiya inhe applaud, it was a certain opinionated lady journalist who taught Hamath ki in the business of fame and fortune, criticism is part of the game. Shobha Day at that time was the big, the big famous journalist. And I remember the first review that she had in the midday or something is when she used to write. And she said, so here I was at the Raymond's show and suddenly a whole bunch of waiters came out on stage. The only thing I was missing were trays in their hand because I put all the men in white trench coats to start. And I was just so shattered when she wrote that. But I told her we had a good laugh about that later. You know what we think, Hemant? Destiny ne aap ko chuna tha as the chosen one. Indian fashion industry ka future tha in ke haath mein. Aur dil mein thi khwaish India ko dunia ke fashion radar par pohunchane ki. And that he sure did over and over again. Fashion shows ke saath saath, Hemant ko kiya gaya invite to explore the world of advertisements and promotions or aspiring designers go fashion padhana. It was all in a day's work for Hemant. There's so much work on this already and it's already weighing it down. So just to make sure that the finish of all this must be extremely smooth, there should be no problems at all. Young, ambitious creative minds ko train karna, hamesha ragi hai inki passion. And soon, Feet made Hamant play a very important role in shaping the future of Indian fashion yet again. One day I got a call. I was asked to speak to a Dean Richard Streiter from the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. I went and met him, saw my work, and in 10 minutes, he said, I want you to join us. We are here to set up the National Institute of Fashion Technology in India and we want you on board. I already came with that experience of being an instructor, of being a teacher. We set up in a small little hotel in Delhi and then it just, it just grew from there and grew from there and grew from there. But after a while, I was a Mumbai boy and I will always be a Mumbai boy and I had to come back. Is already established. Powerhouse creator ke life ka agla turning point tha. The Sheetal Design Studio. The Mumbai boy was back and Sheetal ke saath, he rocked the city all over again. Working at the Sheetal Clothing Company, the first design studio ever in this country happened in this very, I don't think too many people know that. But I had already had the experience of teaching. I took five ex-students, all award-winning students, they formed my design house and we operated from one room where everybody began to grow and then the success of that just took the entire store further enough that others wanted to emulate it. This genius was just getting started. In ke career ka next high rise, grooming for all those lovely girls who went on to represent India at international beauty pageants. How did that one happen? The fact that I chose to come back to my own country and then what a beautiful representation of having a young woman who represents the country to the world. And that was something I wanted to do very clearly. The designing aspect came secondary. For me, it was really training, for lack of a better word, instructing, advising, playing big brother, playing boyfriend to a whole bunch of young girls who were going to be able to learn from my limited experience of what it was to represent the country to the world. 
Lakin just when Heymanth was at the top of his game, life took an unexpected turn. Fate Nikia in case stellar climb could interrupt with a shocking twist, which left Heymanth fighting for dear life. How did he rise from the ashes and reign supreme all over again? Janengi on the other side of this little break, only on Blender's Bright Magical Nights Music CDs presents Designer Diaries. Welcome back. Arch, Blender's Pride Magical Nights Music Series presents Designer Diaries Bar. Hum kar rahe hain relive the amazing story of designer extraordinaire Hemant Trivedi. Ab kuch logon ki zindagi mein aate hain kuch aise terrible turns jo tab to don't make any sense at all. Lekin jab life karta hai reveal apna grand plan. Though we realize that those earth-shattering incidents took place only to make us come back stronger. Hemant ki life mein aisa hi ek incident tha jab in the year 2000 he met with a near-death accident. Strange the irony. I was actually a chief guest for a fashion event for students in Ahmedabad for NIFT and I never made it for that particular show because on my way to the airport um, a drunken tempo driver just kind of pummeled into me. My hand went under the handbrake and broke in three parts. My ribs were shattered, my shoulder was gone and I fell straight into a coma. He month kar rahe the battle for his life or constant medical attention ke baavajood bhi. He was in a coma for a month. Believe it or not, finally, Jab Heman snapped out of his coma. At that exact moment, several miles away, a certain Miss Lara Datta, Jinka Gaun Kiatha in Hini design, was being crowned Miss Universe. Divine intervention, say we, and we are pretty sure Heman agrees. I think God got me back. I think uh, the incredible team at Leelavati because they just didn't want to see me die, they wanted me to survive. I think myself, because I didn't want to give up. The prayers and love of everybody around me, people I knew, people I didn't know, and yes, a Miss India winning a Miss Universe crown. These are things that just got me back. He month was out of coma, like in far from fit. Us ek accident ne inke body or brain ko kiya tha ravage and damage. Lekin his spirit was untouched. I had to learn how to speak. I had to learn how to walk. I had to learn how to see um, and get my memory back. So all this was so tough because you just had to come back and just be normal. And I said to myself, if I can't use this right hand which taught illustration to my students and I can't walk and I can't move, and something inside me told me, but you can think. And if you can think, then why can't you be able to utilize that in the best possible way? He meant to fight for his own demons. But in faith, he sent an invite that he just could not resist. And just like that, Mr. Trivedi was back in action. In that dreadful state of mind, the De Beers Diamond Company came to my house, I was not very mobile, sat on my bed, in my bedroom, and explained to me that, look, we want to do this show. Now, it was such an incredible feeling. You had the lovely Lisa Ray, who was going to present the show. All the clothes were done by me, and it was my fresh take again. Simultaneously, while that was happening, you had a Miss India in a Priyanka Chopra, and I designed her gown as well. Honestly, Heyman, kudos to you. Jabki most people would have given up on life. You fought hard to get back. Or up, getting back to the brand Heyman Trivedi. Or unke one-of-a-kind designs. Kya hai is awesome. Must have for every fashionista. Brand ki USB. Something which I've always wanted as an Indian designer, wanted to feel as an Indian designer, is that I never wanted to give up my roots of who I am, of which country I represent, and I wanted 
the person who wears my clothes, no matter how casual, how formal, how embellished, or how draped it may be, I wanted her to make, make her feel very, very special. That she would walk into a room and she would have what is called incredible chutzpah or style. I don't want to say that my forte is only one kind, because I think I'm limiting myself as a designer if I do that. Her designing genius ke liye aisi kuch cheeze hoti hai jinhe dekh kar they get inspired to weave their dreamy designs. Hemant Trivedi ke creations ethereal, magical, worth a million bucks. Kya karta hai inhe inspire? Let's find out. If you want to be myopic and only look at life from the Indian context and not want to look at what is happening around you or further away, you need to travel. People need to experience what the world is all about, what people from all over the world are wearing, understanding different cultures, because that is so important. The colors of that land, the fabrics being produced from that land, motifs, design, sensibility. You need to look at a piece of architecture, which can be so inspiring. Hmm, so what is the next phase of creating a Hemant Trivedi masterpiece? If I have a particular look in mind, then one will source for fabric. That is the most ideal way, because that fabric, just by touching it, by feeling it, by understanding its drivability, or what or how one can construct from it, is important. This is lighter, it's more, more jaunty kind of looking, you know, so I think that's, that's nice. Fabric, of course, is very important. Color is the other aspect. And the first stage that I work on is actually putting pen to paper and sketching. Thumbnail sketches, different design ideas, could be a collar, could be a sleeve. And then when you couple that with the fabric that you've got, and you see, can this work together? Yes, I think it can. You know, you need to develop from this embroidery sample that, that elongated kind of these things that are gonna come down. Maybe a little touch of something like an embellishment. Embellishment can be an accessory, could be an embroidery, could be a fabric texture. For me, it is team effort from day one. These are interesting. So this we could do for a white collection. Yeah, for the, wi for the white collection, this might, look, this might look quite nice. This throwing back and forth of ideas. So it's very important to be able to challenge yourself and challenge the person you're close to as well to create something really special. What's on the other <laughs> Hemanki Creations hai a complete rage with most of B-Town's gorgeous ladies. Kaun hai inki tinsel town news? Janenge ek aur chhoti si break ke baad. Right here on Blender's Pride Magical Nights Music CDs presents Designer Diaries. Blender's Pride Magical Nights Music Series presents Designer Diaries Par Hamari Saath Hai The Fantabulous Hemant Trivedi Inke creations karte hai epitomize Indian beauty And well, all through his career The most stunning Indian women have been More than eager to be draped by this fashion whiz I know that the ultimate The most special and the most uh, And the best person To make the perfect outfit in my mind once upon a time, it was um, uh, this beautiful model who came in uh, well in the, in the 90s uh, by the name of Sonalika Oberoi. For me, you look at a Rekha. We talked about style. That woman has style. That woman has got attitude. Hemant Trivedi ke life ke highs and lows. Hamari saad, aaj ye kar chuke hai rile. Aapki inspirational story se, we are sure, kai saare logun ko mila hai, we impede us to go ahead and follow their dream, no matter what. Thank you, Mr. Trivedi, for being with us here on Blender's Pride Magical Nights Music Series Presents Designer Diaries. To aaj ke liye, that's all we got for you. Milenge agli hafte, peak all mega designer ke diary me karne, peak adu. Lekin tab tak ke liye, stay tuned to Zoom, India's number one Bollywood channel.
Hi, this is Moni Roy. Follow Zoom TV on Twitter and get Bollywood news and happenings 24/7. Just visit www.twitter.com at zoomtv.